Hi everyone, welcome back to another cut above with Chris. My phone hasn't stopped ringing all day today, so no doubt I'll get a few interruptions here. I'm not putting it on airplane mode just now because I'm waiting on calls from customers, so I'll just wing it and hopefully get through a full shave. I'm using, as you've probably seen from the start, Phoenix and Bowl Albion, which is bergamot, lavender and grapefruit. Now, I pretty much get all three scents when I take a one whiff. I get them all, they're all sort of evenly scented. The grapefruit is ever so slightly stronger than the rest. With that citrus thing, the lavender then, and then I do get the bergamot as well. So it's a really, really nice scent. And I know from experience in using this soap that it works very, very well. Right, the brush, look out the excess water, is the Morrison Fondren 28mm three band blown badger which is a beautiful brush with a beautiful knot that just sheds all the time, unfortunately. So straight into the soap. Now this is a soft soap, it's not a, I wouldn't say it's quite a crop, but it's not far away from being a crop, which is a, basically it's not a cream, it's not a soap, it sits in the middle. And that looks like hair number one. Yeah, that's hair number one lost. So, just loading up now. Just did a handful of nuts, so no doubt I'll be chewing and all sorts through this one. Give it a good load. You don't need heaps of Phoenix and Bowl when you load it, you don't need tons in your brush, it does work very, very well. But using a natural hair brush, I always overload a little bit. Been boiling a lot today, it's getting starting to get a little bit humid. So be nice to get a nice citrusy shave. I was gonna use a bit of menthol today, but not quite there yet. One of my daughter's hairs, I think, and the wife's hairs. It's bloody everywhere. I tell you what, the greatest thing about being bald is my hair doesn't go anywhere. Other than down the drain. I am due a head shave actually, I might have one today. Just dip the tips. It is pretty dry. So, good thing with Phoenix and Bow, similar to Barrister Man Wickham, all you good artisans, they do like a good drink of water and they can deal with it very, very easily. And again. It's the 26th today, so I've got four days left, naturally November, and then I can get stuck back into my synthetic brushes, thankfully, as much as I've enjoyed this. It's a little bit too samey for me, four brushes over 20 days. Or oh, 25 days, actually, it'll be. Brush is absolutely cute. You can see the, see the shine on the side of that, the other gloss. Stunning ladder, and as you can see, they don't get much better than that. I'm just going to paint a little bit more on there. Right, Rockwell 6C, beautiful little razor. I've got it on plate R3, which hopefully you can see there. The plate 3, I don't know why I say R3, everyone else says R3. It's, I think they are just for Rockwell, because that's so thick on my face there. Right, let's get stuck in. I've got a brand new Persona Med Prep blade in there which I used in both of my razors yesterday. And thoroughly enjoyed it, really smooth blade. And once again, it's very smooth in the Rockwell. Two 
terms of efficiency, I would say this is just ever so slightly more efficient, but just as smooth as the R89. But as I found yesterday, just because a race is more efficient, once you've finished your third pass, and you've done one with the green, two across the green, or one with the green, one across and one against, however you do it, if you just do one pass, I find it doesn't really matter what razor you use, you end up with a very similar result. And yesterday I got pretty much identical results. But this razor really surprised me. Uh, it was a razor that cosmetically didn't appeal to me at all. But once you get it in your hands, and you actually use it, that's when you really find out how good it is. It's a very smooth, efficient razor with excellent knurling. It's well built. The only downside to it's got a slipness on Phoenix and Bowes just outside. The only downside to it really is the blade alignment. And I don't know whether it changes in the 6S stainless version. I really don't. I don't have one. But I will probably get one, if I'm honest. Eventually. I do like the feel of steel. I, I prefer stainless steel razors, if I'm honest, even though I've only got only got one stainless steel head in the den and that's the the Bundabar. Everything else is either aluminium or plated nickel or right let's just dip the tips again. That's just stunning. It really is. Right, the scent on it is just beautiful. Scent strings run about six, five or six once you get it lathered. But it's a very nice scent. It's almost a woodsy citrus scent with a beautiful hint of the lavender. It's just really nicely blended. Now, I just sunk this blade in here today. I didn't even line it up to see whether it was lined. But it's pretty close today. I can feel a very slight difference on one side. It's slightly less mild than the other. Or slightly milder than the other side, should I say. Slickness on this so I don't see it every time. It really is lovely. 
Ah, it's good, if not better than most things on the market. Right, that's not quite as thick as the, the first two, but it's way more there for the way more than enough for a third pass. And the slickness is the main thing for me now. Well, I'm not going to have a fourth pass now, because I don't need it. So far, I haven't received any phone calls. Which is a definite bonus. Right. That's not the one I wanted, but I'll use that one anyway. <laughs> Freeze cucumber melon. I wanted citrus, I don't know why I've got that out. I am a bit tired today. Okay, let's get this brush rinsed out. I've lost one here so far. I don't know how many I've lost actually in the ladder on my face. I do lose a few on here as well that I don't notice. I'm just going to use this knot until it pretty much dies. Until it's unusable. And then I'll either send it off to Lee Sabini to have it re -knotted. Stay with the Morris and Forge style and knot and everything. Or maybe get a declaration knot or something slotted into it, I don't know. Such a shame. There's another one. Really is. Beautiful little handle, little stubby handle. Beautiful knot. The knot is outstanding. I just haven't been lucky with my a lot of my natural hair knots. Luckily the ones, the other knots that I've got are great. This one's just great, but going bald like myself. There's 
there's another two, three. So much potential. Beautiful, beautiful brush. Right, the soap. Give that a quick rinse. The soap was Phoenix and Bow Albion, which is it really is an outstanding scented soap, but performance wise, Phoenix and Bow are up there with the best in the business in my opinion. Kerry over at Phoenix and Bow has also got great custom service. It's always quick to reply to questions and so on. Any issues, if you've got any issues with orders or anything like that, just get in touch with him, he's a really nice guy. It is his, more his sort of hobby, he does have another full time job. But, you can tell there's a lot of passion goes into his work, and he, he, he talks very passionately about wet shaving. If you pop on over to the, on the YouTube page as well, on the YouTube channel, he's got a few good tutorials on there and showing using some of the soaps, how to load his soaps the best and things. And I think I think from memory he blooms his soaps. I can't remember 100 percent but I don't find these need blooming at all. It is a soft soap. It smells great. Right so that was Phoenix and Bow Albion the brush which I've obviously just shown you a minute ago was the Morrison Fondren three band blonde badger handmade in England. Absolutely beautiful brush. The razor today was the Rockwell 6C which is also Sorry, I'm a bit far away there. Also another stunning piece of equipment and it works so so well. There's a lot of weight in it as well, even though it's not stainless steel, there is a lot of weight in it. Humphreys Cucumber Melon. I hope these are coming on the camera, I'm a bit all over the place today. I'm just going to finish off with Elvado again, I've been really enjoying this, it leaves my skin feeling great. Elvado Royal Tahitian Lime. I'll go for three pumps of that, which looks like that. And Put it on. So I've just found out yesterday, was it yesterday? I can't remember. I've just found out that I'll find out whether I've got into the transit guards by either it'll be on this coming Friday, it's Monday today, or it'll be the f a week today, so next Monday, when I finally find out whether I've got in or not and actually made the cut. So fingers crossed I get in because it's going to be a very, very, very expensive next 10 years with our kids if my daughter keeps excelling at what she does and who knows what the boys are going to do if they end up being into something that costs a lot as well that's going to be an expensive journey one worthwhile, but it's going to be a lot of money so, that being said, thanks very much for tuning in I hope you enjoyed that, I certainly did I'll be whipping this off possibly today I'll see how I go, I'm feeling a bit tired today but I want to get rid of it for the rest of the week so, stay safe, drive safe don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.